Hey everyone, it's Ferial, and in this video, I am going to go over the Commission Setup and Reporting feature in TechMetric. To get started, you will want to navigate to Shop Settings located on the left menu bar. Once you are in Shop Settings, you are going to want to navigate to the Employees section. Here, you can set up as many Commission Structures as you'd like. To create a new Commission Structure, you're going to go ahead and click the New Commission button, and a pop-up window will appear to start setting up your Commission Structure. Setting up your commission structure will be similar to setting up a parts matrix. You can add as many rows of job categories as you'd like, or you can keep it simple and apply commission to all job categories, which is similar to an entire RO. We design commissions to be at the job level in order to give shop owners flexibility since each shop gives commission to employees differently. So here in the first section, you are going to want to select a job category. In this example, for the first row, I'm going to select all job categories. Once you are done selecting the job category, you're going to then select the method. In this example, I am going to select percentage. After selecting the method, I will select if I want to apply the percentage on total sales or gross profit. Please note that the total sales and gross profit is actually going to have the net of all discounts. Afterwards, I'm going to then select what I want to calculate my commission on. I can have it to be labor, parts, tires, battery, sublets, or any of the combination. When I'm done selecting what I want to calculate it on, I'm then going to put my percentage amount, and in this case, I want to have 10%. On top of this percentage, I also want to give a fixed commission on, let's say, in this case, break jobs. Fixed commission will not be applicable to total sales or gross profit, but rather what you decide to calculate it on. Let's just say I want to give a fixed dollar amount of $2. If I go ahead and calculate on labor, then this employee will get $2 for every break job that has a labor line associated with it. If I want to calculate it on sublets, then the employee will get $2 for any sublet job that is labeled as a break job job category. If I calculate it on parts, tires, or batteries, then the employee will get $2 for every quantity of parts, batteries, or tires. Once you are done setting up the commission structure, you're going to go ahead and click Save. And now you're going to want to navigate to the Employees section to start setting up the commission for your employees. You're going to navigate to the Employees section and go ahead and click into the employee you want to give this commission structure to. You're going to click the Edit Pencil in the Role and Salary table, and now you're going to have the Commission Structure field you're going to select from the drop-down menu of all the commission structures you've set up. You're going to go ahead and click Save. And now this employee will get commission on an RO once it is posted or sent to accounts receivable. In order to track your employee's commissions, you're going to then navigate to the Reports section, Employee Reports, and then the Employee Commissions Report. This report is printable and you can even filter by employee or job category and of course you can have the date range you want to select. If I want to see the details behind the $99 of commission Daphne got, I will then select her name. Here you can also filter by job category, the commission structure, and the date range as well as print an individual's commission report. So in this example, the first row is going to be the grand total within the selected date range. And under the first row will be details regarding the commission. So in this example, let's just go through the first row. This job is under differentials and it is under RO 2965 with the commission structure applied commission number one. The total labor sales on this job is $254.34, but she gets $0 commission on that. On GP, however, since we do have GP applied, she does get $6 on the GP sales, and for fixed commission, she's not getting any here. Similar under the parts section, tires, batteries, and in this case, since sublets are not applicable, since this is not a sublet job, you will see dashes, and then the grand total of the job to the very right. You can also download this report, and when you print it, you will also have a PDF version to share with your employee. If your employee does not have access to reporting, they will also be able to navigate to the shop dashboard where they can see their own commission under the My Commission Report section. 
If you have any questions on how to set up commission or any reporting questions, please do not hesitate to contact support. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.